compile the plan. So we, Fantastic. Yeah, and you actually answered my second question about the show, like a TV show. And then the third is, um, since we saw the show on Sunday, she has been singing literally snippets of all the songs. How did she run the So the, question, the next question was, will you be coming out with like a CD of the music? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, um, so with the TV show, uh, I'm very much looking at uh, producing the show, creating the, sh uh, the television show over here in the Philippines. I think that you have a, a wonderful television um, industry over here. You, know, you have lots of channels, uh, you have a huge population, and you guys make great TV, uh, particularly the variety, the entertainment show. Like It's what you guys do best. So um, I very much see an opportunity for Superdudes to be created over here in the Philippines. Um, and then, obviously, the songs, it's, such, it's so important. And um, when I saw the Instagram video of, of Bella dancing, uh, it, like, I cried because it's, um, you know, I've had really lots of special days in High Five and met lots of really special kids. But um, seeing, a ch uh, seeing Bella dance to a song that you wrote, um, the idea that we all came up with and here we are and seeing a little, a little fan after only one day, it's it, you know I really do see see the super dudes being here for a long time. We, we've all watched that video I think about <laughs> eight hundred times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. No, congratulations. Yeah. It's, it's, like mission accomplished. Thank you, thank you, Joe. Thank you very much. Do <laughs> <laughs> you guys have some more questions? Sorry. Hi, my name is Jana. I'm a homeschooling mom. Uh, more of an independent curriculum. So normally what I do is I look for books that I could turn into some sort of like it has value yeah. or educational content. And um, I'm wondering how super dudes can relate to that. Um, yeah, absolutely. Great, great question. Um, in creating the book, we spent a lot of time in schools in Australia. And uh, as part of that, we did lots of workshops where um, I would go in uh, with the pencil fire and we would talk about the book and then the whole curriculum is about but then the children creating their own super dudes. And that opportunity for a child to go into their own imagination and create is something very, very special. And we found that particularly with the children that um, have autism or learning difficulties, that opportunity to be given a pencil and a paper and draw your own was very, very magic. And it's, it's about um, children seeing the world as everything is super. And so what was what is really, really special about super dudes, as I mentioned, the super dudes that we create don't have any guns or violence, which I think is important. There's no fighting. But then children who have read the book, when they create their own, we haven't seen one child create a super dude with guns or anything like that. And I think there's the lesson, you know, if, if, in educating kids and going, you don't need all of that. Here's a way you can look at the world that is very kid friendly, that you still have superheroes, which children all love superheroes. We, who doesn't love superheroes? Everyone. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it doesn't have to be violent. And, and when, what we've found in all of our testing is that once children have read Super Dudes and they start to see the world like, hey, that kid with orange hair, He's super, you know. He's, you know, that um, that guy who loves blowing bubbles. Hey, he's he's cool as well. That, that kid that loves drawing, he's a super dude. And so, for a child reading the book at home to know that something that they like doing is considered super, there's the lesson. I think that sort of goes uh, beyond sort of, um, you know, one plus one is two. It's on a deeper level that there's there's a bit of heart behind that. That we we do genuinely care about the kids. And we do want every kid in the world to see to see the world as a super, and that any one and every, and anything can be super. You mentioned that there's a heart in writing the book. Um, if there were five values that you want parents to, um, I guess, translate from the book towards their children, what would be the values? Uh, yeah, great question. Um, I mean, I think I think the values are are the the heart, and I think. Um, as a parent, like obviously, like particularly over here in the Philippines, parents over here do amazing things for their kids. You know, like I've, I've seen, um, uh, we, we performed in malls where parents line up from 7 a.m. and the show's at 2 p.m. for a 20 minute show because parents here will do anything for their kids.